Hey guys, Chris Crawford here from Kick-Ass Media, and I'm gonna to talk to you for a few minutes about buying a step and repeat or a red carpet backdrop for your event. So whether you're having a movie premiere, a, a gala, an awards show, a fundraiser, whatever it may be, uh, step and repeats are used for, for all those different means, and I'm gonna show you the top things that you should consider uh, when buying. So first thing, this is what it's gonna look like when you receive a step and repeat from Kick-Ass Media, it actually comes in a nice small bag. It's in a little carry case, and you can um, just unfold it. And this is this is a fabric backdrop. So I'm going to show you this example right here of what it's like when you actually have your fabric set up. Now we recommend fabric because, as you can see, it's nice and smooth. It, it comes out really great. It's wrinkle resistant. But the difference is that you notice how there's no glare coming off of here. When you buy vinyl and you have lights on it, you have your photographer, you've got your logos on here, and your people are standing in front getting a photo taken, you're gonna get glare and reflection, which the bummer is that when you look at your photos, you may not be able to see some of your logos and you'll get that reflection back. So we always recommend fabric if you're gonna be taking pictures or doing videos, doing that kind of thing, and it looks absolutely amazing, right? And then the other thing is, obviously look how nice and small and portable it folds up. So if you want to ship this around or you want to transport it, you want to store it, uh, it's super small, easy to, easy to deal with. The vinyl does come in a long rolled tube. Don't get me wrong, we do offer vinyl as well, but we, we offer this as the number one, number one thing. So come on in closer and I'll show you a few details to look at. So with this, with this particular frame that doesn't require any tools or anything to set it up, it just expands into place. And it locks with these little with these little locking clips. That's it. There's just these little clips through the whole thing. You just lock those, and your print attaches with Velcro. Like it literally can't be any easier. And so I would advise to really be careful and, and consider the tube frames that you sometimes have to have screwdrivers or you have to have parts, uh, tools on site, I should say, to be able to put it together. And the nice thing about this is where you have this end cap here, you can put additional branding. So if you're going to have sponsors and you're gonna have their logos on the front, you could have your message on the side so that your audience at the event can see it, even though it's not gonna be in photos. So you could put website, hashtag, uh, any other details like that, you could put all that kind of thing on the side. But the other thing is that this one has, I can't, you can't quite see it here, but there's little mounts for lighting on top. So if you wanna add little spotlights that come out and will point down to give you a little bit more, a little more pop from your backdrop, you can put that on top and, and you can just mount those. So those are a few of the, the biggest things I would consider. Uh, the other thing is that it doesn't really matter what you want to put on your artwork. You could put logos, you could put a big photo, you could put a branded message. Uh, you can put absolutely anything on here and all of the printing is full color and it doesn't change the pricing, it doesn't change anything like that. So uh, when you're shopping around and, and you're looking for a step and repeat for your event, uh, make sure to consider those few details and find something that's going to give you the best exposure, give your guests the best sharing experience. Oh, and then one other little tip that you may want to consider is having a sign on an easel that explains to your customers, to your audience, what to do with the backdrop. Because we see it over and over and over where they come in and they kind of stand here or they, they kind of avoid it a little bit and they're really unsure what to do. And even if you have a photographer here, everybody's going to come up they're gonna pose for their photo, they're gonna take their cell phone out of their pocket, and they're gonna go, hey, can you take one on my phone so that I can share? The only thing with that is that if you're not prepared, you're gonna lose the social media credibility that you can get from their share. So the way to take advantage of that, have a little sign on an easel with your website or your hashtag or your Facebook address or whatever it is that you would like your audience to share on their cell phone and tell them what to do. Say, hey, step up, take a photo, share it, include our hashtag, and now when they do that, you're gonna expand the reach of your message and get a much bigger audience just through that one-time event. It's a super powerful little tip. Little sign on easel for, I think it's around $100, will give you potentially reach to thousands of more people that weren't actually at your event. Anyway, again, it was Chris Crawford from Kick-Ass Media. I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, feel free to give a call to our offices and we can explain a little bit more of the details. Thank you.